welcome to hues, tints, tones and shades. What's the difference? A lot of us use terms like hues, tints, tones and shades when we refer to our colours in our art. But did you know each of these terms has a very specific meaning? As an artist, knowing the difference between them is all important when communicating concepts in our artwork. More importantly, you can use this knowledge for colour mixing, helping us figure out how to mix colours um, in the correct way from our paints. So let's look at hue. This is a term that sounds more complicated than it really is. Hue is just a colour, as I explained in the previous episode. More specifically, hue is any colour on the colour wheel, and hopefully you are familiar with this by now. If you haven't already watched the previous episode, then I urge you to do so. But I'm going to go over it quickly, and just in case you need a refresher. There are three primary colours, red, blue and yellow. Most of us also know that combining any two of the primary colours will give us one of the secondary colours. Red and blue make violet, yellow and blue make green, and red and yellow make orange. And the third set of colours, the tetri colours, fill in the six gaps between the primary and secondary colours. Red, orange, blue, green, red, violet, and so on. And tetri colours are pretty simple to figure out based on their names. So I'm not going to cover them here. Okay, so what's a tint, a tone, and a shade? Quite basically, these are variations of hues that are found on the basic colour wheel. When white, black, or both are mixed in. Now, to illustrate this, I've painted a tint, and a tone, and a shade on the colour wheel. So when adding white to our red hue, we get this colour. When adding white to a yellow hue, we get this colour. And when we add white to our blue hue, we get this colour. Now these are known as tints. Now these do vary depending on what type of paint you use because of the pigments, but don't worry too much about that. Let's keep it simple stupid. Now just add in black to our red hue, we'll get this particular colour. And again add in black to yellow and add in black now these will vary depending on the amounts of white or black you add. Now when you add equal parts of white and black, which will make a grey, to the hue, you will get this type of colour. And again, add in equal parts of white and black to the yellow hue and the blue hue. So quite simply, Tints are created when you add white to any hue on the colour wheel and this would lighten and desaturate that hue, making it less intense. Tones are created when you add both black and white to a hue. You could also say grey has been added. Now depending on the proportions of black and white and the original hue, tones can be darker or lighter than the original and these will also appear less saturated or intense than the original hue. Tones can reveal subtle and complex qualities in a hue or a combination of hues and are more true to the way we actually see the real world. While shades are created when only black is added to a hue. This results in a rich, often more intense and darker colour because of the odour overpowering nature of many black pigments. Now, adding black to a hue is tricky and sometimes frustrating when mixing paint. Many blacks will change the characteristics of the hue even small amounts, so they should be used sparingly. Alternatively, a hue can be often made darker by adding another dark rather than a black. And now testing different mixtures is the best approach. So what I recommend is you look around you and where do you see colours that might be tints? or tones or shades and have some fun with painting your colour wheel. Thanks for watching and listening to Hughes Tints Tones and Shades. This was brought to you by Clive of Clive's Art. This is the second instalment of the colour wheel and I hope that I kept it simple stupid. Please leave any comments in the comment box below and if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe. Thanks for your time and I will see you soon. Bye!